guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see we are on a sailboat I live on a sailboat and I also make jewelry I make jewelry and I'm starting to make fashion like clothing pieces so I have my own little brand katyavestergrad.com and a, a few of you kind of want to know like how I make my jewelry on a sailboat so I mean that's kind of crazy right like most people who make jewelry obviously have like a studio or something like that but this is basically my studio this little table here so yeah and my pieces kind of change throughout the year and collections and whatever but this is just kind of what i have right now yeah so um i thought i would just show you a few pieces um i make some clay pendants and then i actually bake them in my little oven on my sailboat and then other things are just wires and different metals and beads so i do them by hand but yeah i'll show you some of them so this is my little um I don't know, container where I kind of keep all my finished products so they, they stay nice. I don't know if you can see the few pieces. These are some of the new ones I'm making. So there's obviously not a lot of them right now. So yeah, so that's some of the pieces. Um, so I'll start with the clay ones. These are some of the pieces I've been making. I'll show you them, I'll just take them out. The earrings I'm wearing right here, these are some of the ones I've made. They're kind of like those type of style where it's like not matching, so different colors, but and they turn. These are made out of clay and then copper wiring. So, modeling them. And then I have some here. So, pearls are really stylish kind of right now. It's kind of trending, but pearls are very me. So I, I think I'm gonna have pearls in my collection all the time. But I thought it'd be kind of cool to have like pearl necklaces. This is a small pearl necklace. And then I have like a bigger, different sizes, right? So I got a big one then a small one just kind of depending on what people like and then I thought I would add some kind of fun charms so these are made out of clay and each of them are unique like no two pieces the same obviously because they're handmade but um, this is like a little watermelon <laughs> you can see the little black seeds and then this is just a little flower and they're all made out of uh, polymer clay so you can find this type of clay at any kind of craft store or online and it's good for jewelry making and, and baking small kind of pieces so and you kind of have to test it out the first few times like i burnt the beads and then other times they were too like not like baked enough and it has to be like perfect consistency so that when you wear the jewelry it doesn't like break or bend so you a bit of trial and error but it's really fun and then a lot of times i just like bend the clay together and like different colors and I like the thing about clay is I like that none of it's gonna be exactly the same it's just literally different every time you do it so yeah I have these ones these are made out of clay and then I have these earrings these are really fun too look like this they're a set but each piece is slightly different in coloring right because when I you know mold the clay together it's gonna look a little different rainbow but I think that's what's really cool and unique about them so got these and then I have these um, necklaces. This is like a pink, pink pearl or pink type of bead. I like this one, and this is like on a long gold chain. But I'm thinking of also adding some maybe black chains. That could be kind of cool. It's very Scandinavian looking. And then I have some copper wiring here. Blue ones, blue and black beads. Like a red and orange or yellow marble kind of print. It's best to have like a bigger selection, but I'm on a sailboat, so I just have small amounts at a time. I don't want anything to get ruined. So as you can see, most of my favorite colors have been used. All these spaces are gone, but I might try some new different colors here. And I literally just take the pieces out. I'll show you what I do. Like this. And you literally can just break off a piece like that. It's really like bendable and everything. And then you'll just kind of bend it roll it you can use your hands or you can use like these sculpting tools it just depends on how perfect you want things to look okay, so i'm just rolling it on my hand here and then you can kind of just push it like so see now you have a little bead this is just like a green bead but if you want to add colors you could add something else to it you could add a little bit of let's say this pink one just add a little bit to it break it up a bit okay so now you have it like that Look it, it's kind of cool, right? And then to make it like a bead that you put on a, um, a chain, what I usually do is I take like a sewing needle, just a very thin object. And then you would just be careful, but like go through it. 
See, you're making a hole. Obviously, you're gonna perfect this a lot better when you're making it for real, right? This is just a demonstration. And then just kind of wiggle it around to make sure there's like a perfect hole going through so that you can thread your string or your chain. And make sure it's big enough too, right? Depending on the size of your chain. And then I don't know if you can see there's a little hole in there. And then basically what you do, once you have all your pieces, I make sure all the beads are the same kind of size so that I'm not baking them at different times. And then I'll lay them on a tray, all my beads, and then I'll bake them in my little oven and then take them out and then they harden like this. Then you can add like the chain and the beading and the wiring and they're hard now, right? So they can't move. Right now they're, obviously you can still squish it. So you gotta make sure you bake it, otherwise it won't last. <laughs> So yeah, that's kind of how I make those bead ones, which are really fun. I'm gonna come up with some new pieces soon, but this is with clay. I have some seashell jewelry. These are pretty simple though. Um, I just usually gather different seashells and then put like a hole. I do have different tools to cut, whether it's metal or different types of materials so that you can put like a hole to put your loops and your all your little chains through them and then i've been making some fun like fashion costume jewelry so i have this necklace this is like my favorite piece right now actually so it's kind of like a um, turquoise light blue pearl and then it has a little rose pendant in the middle and it's on a like coppery gold chain probably about 18 inch length necklace and then I've been actually making it with some matching earrings. You can wear these separately as well too. But these little earrings that I thought would look really pretty. And they look very Italian to me. Kind of French, but I love this. This is very me. Pearls, gold, florals. I like the mixture of the red. Just like that perfect touch of style, but it's not like something you couldn't wear every day. I feel like you could wear this every day. Either with like really dressy or you could wear it with just jeans. I think that's really cool. And then I have these earrings I've been making. These are kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> these remind me of a Gucci vibe, my version of it. Kind of bold, but yet again, simple enough that you could wear them every day. So they kind of have a pearl um, pendant here, gold, and then these little like blue drops. These are nice earrings. And then I have these, these ones are really fun. I just made these actually. And these are like big silver floral. These are actually pretty light, so they're not heavy to wear, which is good. And then these tortoise print or cheetah print um, acrylic pendants here that I put on top. And then I just attach them with copper wiring and some like gold clasps. And then you got some earrings. Now what I do to make these, these are like the most important tools you'll need when you're making jewelry. This is very important. Like this, I love this because you can break through the hardest metals you just literally stick it through here and so I'll just show you on this. This is a kind of a thin metal, but you could never break this just with scissors. You need something specific. So it's like a wire, so you just stick it in here and then okay, it breaks really easily. So this is how you can break different metals or different chains, even chain. You can break chains the perfect length you want because some of these, you can't undo them, right? You have to break them. And then this, these are also really important because sometimes your hands cannot open certain clasps. It's just too strong. So you use this to um, either open different pieces or even just like close them together. Make sure it's a nice tight fit. You use this. This is really important. So these are really good tools to have when you're making jewelry. And this is what I use a lot. So I have a bunch of beads. I have like these tortoise print beads and I buy a bunch of these in bulk. Got these. And then I have a bunch of pearls. Got some normal colored pearls and then some like fun tur uh, turquoise print. Red floral beads, these are really fun. I was looking for something like this. See, so it looks like this. And it has a hole in there, which is perfect. And then a bunch of like all of these little hooks and all these little things that will attach each pendant to your earring. And then I use uh, nickel free um, gold plated usually earring uh, drops. See how, because I have sensitive, you know, ears and skin, so I try to use things that are also good for sensitive skin because it's important to me. I don't want to wear jewelry that's going to make my ears itchy, you know, it's not good. So I got those. And I'll just show you kind of what I do. So 
Let's say I'm gonna make this necklace. Got some copper wiring, so usually I'm gonna measure because I want all my pieces to be the same. But and you can buy beads like in big bulk too. I just got a few of these just to show you in string form. These are the beads that I'm gonna use for this necklace. Just stick that here. And like I said, we're on a boat, so everything tends to slip off, so I have to keep it like that. Um, okay, then I'm just gonna get the wiring that I want for this. You should get a little bit extra because you're gonna wanna like twist the ends after so that you can hook on the next link. So I do usually have a little bit more than I actually need. So I'll say about this. Now I got my wiring, and then I will just start putting the beads on. And I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So then the, in the middle one, I'll put the rows. Just go like this. We have that side. And then I'm gonna add the rows. Just slip them on there. And then I'll add the other side. Add a couple more. All right, that makes sure it's balanced. So we're gonna have to add the little hook here so that I can add now a chain because I'm gonna make it half pearl, half chain. So this is the part where I have to now measure. I usually have one that's kind of like a prototype, and then you can use this to make your other pieces the same. Extra bit of marble, just in case you measured wrong and you have more. And then we're going to have to clasp the middle again, because we're going to add the hook so that you can like take the necklace piece on and off. But this is the part where you'll attach here. So see, you can see, like, how do I attach this, right? So you're going to have to then get some really small rings and loops like that they come in different sizes but we're going to use a small one it's a little bit meticulous because you got to make sure you bend everything properly so we're going to loop this through that and the first side is not as important as the second one because you want to make sure it's all tight at the other end but the first time on the side it's not that big of a deal just bend it like this. And then I just twist it. Kind of makes a nice design too when you twist it like this. And then you'll just want to like bend it or cut the last little piece off. Okay, so I just finished the necklace that we were working on. And this is the finished result. As you can see, it looks really pretty. So we have pearls, like a clay bead, we got copper wiring, and then like a brass gold chain. And then I added the little clasps at the end so that you can put it on and off. Because it is a shorter length, you can't just slip it over your neck. And so this basically consists of like six different metals, six different pieces and parts to make one necklace. So it's not just one full chain, there's multiple different components to make it all together and I really like it. So this is the normal like, you know, cream colored classic pearl and then this is more like the, I don't know, minty blue turquoise and they're both really pretty. One's the slightly maybe more funky. I like Actually. both of them, but I think my favorite one is the, the minty one. Yeah, me too. Let's do this. And then I'm gonna put the matching earrings with it. So what do you think? Whoa, it's really nice. It's not too like chauffeur and it's not like really long. It's just kind of like the perfect length. And I feel like this would look good with a shirt too, just a t-shirt. Earrings. Cool. Yeah. That's kind of how I make jewelry on a sailboat. Was it hard? 
Not really. I feel like it's more hard when I'm when I'm putting the clasps on because the wire is kind of delicate. Like it bends very easily, which is good because you want it to mold, but you don't want the shape of the necklace to change. So I have to like hold on to this while bending this and it gets hard for the whole thing to not want to bend. So sometimes I've had to redo some parts of it. Was it hard to make on a boat? Kind of, not really in the space because this is a pretty big table that I have, but I would say it's more just Sometimes the boat's rocking, and so while I'm making things, things will literally roll off the table. Then I'm gonna be putting on my website really soon, so these are really, really new to my website. What's your next project? Mm, I kind of want to make bags. Maybe Bailey would look nice with the crown. No, maybe. One day, I do plan on making an official Shih Tzu pendant uh, after my dog, because I love her, and I want to make it like on a necklace or something. This is just the prototype, but don't judge me. One day it'll be way better. This was literally just for fun. This is my dog in a clay pendant. That's my little video for today. I hope you guys liked watching how I make my jewelry for my brand. Also, it's also just a fun craft. So when you're just sitting indoors and it's raining outside, do a craft. Have fun. It's meant to be creative. That's all for now. Bye guys. <laughs>